Hey there, party people, and welcome to the second episode of 3D modeling uh, here on my channel. And uh, yeah, I've, I've I've been growing my skills lately a little bit more in uh, making 3D objects. Um, and you can expect this model, what you can see right now and today in this episode, um, go into the Steam Workshop. I hope tomorrow, actually, maybe even tonight, I don't know. Um, I just have to fix some normal maps, like the, the whole model, as you can see from the render image at the end of this uh, video, is already done. Um, it's already cleaned up and I, again, I learned so many things uh, while building this and again, a big thanks to Scrasbone, uh, Cresp1, Cresp-Zone, I still have no idea how to pronounce that name. Um, he was still helping me, or just like every time helping me uh, out on... on yeah, just modeling and, and stuff when I had some questions and uh, basically I think um, we can agree on the fact that um, my modeling skill it has kind of already been up to, to what I was able to do in, in SketchUp for example um, and in general like my imagination can be uh, used uh, to the to the max so to say. Um, the issues begin where it's um, you know it's about UV mapping and um, and just unwrapping the stuff and using textures, using normal maps. This is all very new to me and I'm still struggling a little bit with the translation of my ideas that I have in mind um, into how I can make this actually work properly. Um, this consumes really a lot of time. So for example this model, the whole model of this um, yeah, stroller, as you can see from the title and also from everything else already in here, um, took me about one hour, a little bit more than an hour. So it is, you know, the modeling went pretty straight uh, forward. I didn't had that many issues. Um, I kind of made a few little mistakes. One of those you can see over here. I just mixed these things into each other via a um, mirror modifier, which is all fine. But one thing I totally forgot is that it does create some faces that are facing inwards and uh, inwards facing um, faces are always kind of bad in terms of making bump maps and in general they are, you know, they are completely unnecessary. You don't see them, you don't use them, they don't have to be there, so please delete them and I did it completely wrong because I thought by enabling editing, uh, clipping, I should say, um, I, I thought it would be done already, but you have to delete them beforehand or manually later on. Um, here I was figuring if I can just put this image in um, kind of, you know, suitable so that I can just move the whole thing, but I, I was messing around with the model, needed to re rotate that, and I was like, okay, screw it. Um, I even wanted to do my own model in general, so again, as with the wheelchair, the um, whole idea about the model was to create a Planko styled stroller. So obviously I took a huge inspiration again from this well-known model uh, you can see in the background and so on. Um, and I was pretty much going straight forward for copying it um, to a certain extent. Not completely because I, I definitely wanted to create something more, as I said, Planko looking. Also some things more simple. Um, not too many things used over here and there because like you know, there is a certain amount of detail you have to maintain and make it look really useful, um, but at the same time you don't want to make it too crazy because there, there is like this, you know, you can make very extremely highly detailed things and put them in the game within the 8000 tris we are allowed to put into the game, which is totally fine, um, but you always have to question yourself is it really necessary to have that many polys going on or would it be you know as cool as the high poly one if you just use for example just one axis for the wheels rather than making the whole mechanisms and stuff down there i mean you can also solve a lot of things with uh, textures which as i said at the beginning i'm i'm not too good at yet um, but i'm really looking into it to to get a lot better there um since it really, it really is one thing I am uh, looking into making, you know, just doing a lot more with textures to, to make, to maintain a certain level of detail without uh, screwing your performance too much. Because my wheelchair um, is still a nice wheelchair, but there will be a, you know, reworked version of it. Um, I, you know, yesterday I said I don't want to do it, but, you know, today I figured I, I will just go in and make a lower poly version out of it, especially um, made a better version of the uh, rims. I think that's the only thing in general I'm going to change are the rims, um, because the rims are now fully detailed and well actually you could use simply a texture for it with an alpha layer within um, 
It does kind of take away a little bit from the awesome looking model, but it does really improve the performance quite a lot because you would really take out approximately 2000 Tris by just deleting those rims and uh, it you know, it doesn't really look 20% worse than it would be before. So, you know, the increase in performance is well, well uh, better than the decrease uh, in, in detail, I should say. But hell yeah, that's that's some advanced talk already. Uh, we are just here now making this model a suitable model um, for the game. And as you can see, I, I was going for um, not a as highly detailed version as I did it for the... Um, for the wheelchair and I have to say I even ended up within the 8k Tris but I wanted to make this model a lot better so in the end uh, I'm very proud to say that the final stroller is just a little bit under 3000 uh, Tris which is I think pretty okay I mean that's pretty awesome I think um, and it still looks really decent I have to say um, and I, I hope that all my models can at least be below that number as soon as they're a little bit more higher detailed um, and once we are getting into some more usable small stuff which I'm going to do next um, we are definitely going to look into making them lower than 1k Tris um, just to make sure that the performance is not affected too much and also that these things are usable um, and we are going to do some stuff with uh, obviously the um, textures as, as basically the uh, the main the main reason or the main driver to maintain a certain level of detail anyhow um this this video is also showing you as i said uh, the progress how i'm modeling at the moment um people asked me actually to do some tutorials on on blender and also to do some tutorials on how to get stuff into the theme uh, team t and even in German, um, I would say I'm not yet the right person to do it. But there will be maybe a solution I'm going for. And this is, um, again, via the help of Krebzone, um doing one together. Because he's basically my mentor. He's my Jedi master. Um, and I'm his Padawan, if you want so. Um, really, because like he's super, 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 super good at uh, modeling in uh, Blender. And uh, I can really learn a shitload from him and this is really really amazing and so maybe we are going to do it kind of together and um, we are I, I think the, a cool way to do it and um, I, I have talked uh, to him about this but I think a cool approach would be potentially uh, to do it in a way that he's going to explain some stuff and I'm trying to figure out how to do that in in, in the thing and we're going to record this process um, from very from scratch towards importing into the game as a I don't know three four five episodes series um which you guys can follow then so really doing it as a simple model uh, i don't know maybe we are just doing kind of a logo so you guys could always do your own logo because we are just doing a logo with some uh, letters and you could you know use your own initials or whatever to do so so kind of you know this kind of solution that everybody could just follow and uh, do on his or hers own um, to make sure that there is really a purpose in doing it and then later on uh, you can import it in the game because I think that's really what is all about learning this stuff. You won't ever learn this from only watching videos and not doing it yourself. You really have to have these videos next to your screen and, and model yourself. This is also how I learned it in the first place. I was watching a lot of Blender Guru videos. Um, unfortunately this is like kind of three years ago or something so I basically forgot 99% um, of it um, because you really have to go on and model because that's the only only way you learn it so there's no that kind of major uh, I don't know um, magical explanation that is going to make you the perfect blender modeler um, one thing though I'm, I'm going to explain also in these kind of videos but one thing that is really important to talk about is um, there's this one little thing you need to have before modeling so you have to have a general idea of how 3d um, in general works and i'm not talking about 3d modeling product programs i'm i'm talking about a 3d vision in your head i mean probably most people that are kind of good in modeling and, and building in planet coaster will be able to model in 3d because it's basically the same kind of translation and once you 
model in these programs you will see how much uh, they have taken uh, from this and and brought this into planet coaster itself i mean just talk about the gizmo uh, you can really tell that the gizmo is heavily inspired by how gizmos in the 3d model program work i mean they even took the, the color schemes and stuff for the game um, which hasn't been in one of the first alphas so this is something they they ported after seeing what we did with the game um, but yeah so i think these people are you guys uh, out there once you are um yeah kind of kind of um, educated in in how these programs work you will be able the other thing is if you are not so you know saying you are just a complete noob to 3d and you have no idea about axis about dimensions about proportions and about these kind of things um it's really important for you that you first of all understand if it is the right thing for you, because I, else it can get really frustrating um, if you lose yourself in this kind of 3D environment. But you know that's something just to consider once you you wanting to go into it, um, because I really know for a lot of people or uh, persons I talk to, they kind of don't know what I'm even doing in here, and you can even you can try to explain this to them, but they won't ever learn it. So. You know, I, I think it's it's always important to be honest with people, and um, as I I will never be able to be a great musician. Mu musician, I'm not an audiophile person. I I can't hear uh, if something is correct or not. Like I I learned a lot about you know audio and stuff for my videos, but this is just you know the amount of stuff I can learn from a kind of um, science area or science perspective uh, but I will never have the the true talent to to be really like you know to be really that much into into audio and into music that I'm uh, kind of amazing in it I, I won't ever be that good and so it's important to understand this because I won't you know I, I won't ever go out there and try to make a song or like kind of you know music or a melody or something that's not my thing I can't do it I I, I you know, I feel like I'm at least good enough to choose suitable music for my stuff and just kind of cut mu uh, videos that are kind of fitting to the music. But there are certain rules to follow so that it is already working kind of nicely. But, you know, I'm not the guy that, that would go in here and, and just create a great video that has like the best music flow of all time because that's just not me it's just i i can't do this and uh, you know it's not it's not bad it's for me it's totally fine because i'm you know i'm, I'm happy with how it is I'm, I'm more like a visual person i'm more like into 3d and, and drawing all those kind of stuff so i'm i uh, you know I, I i'm just i'm just very realistic that i um do have my skills in these kind of areas and not in the other areas and this is important um that you ask yourself if it is something for you you can really you know put time into and yeah i think i talked way too long about what this would like be uh, would be like but um if you guys want a tutorial and uh, i think we are capable of doing it um we should do it and i hope that you guys will be interested in it as well um and yeah hopefully this is going to work out soon um but for now this is it about this episode the last uh, the last of the modeling is unfortunately not captured on camera because i was just getting tired and forgot to record again so here's just the basic beginning and that's it already now you can see the final result and um hope you liked it and uh yeah um keep an eye on the workshop you will be able to download this pretty soon and else i see you tomorrow in planet coasters episode until then have a great evening and bye bye